Hey, so I'm trying to get this review in before my baby starts crying. Um, so if you hear the baby crying in the background, that's mine. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is just a review. Actually, it's not even a review. This is just my commentary on some of the reviews that were done on these knives that encouraged me to purchase these knives. A lot of them were negative, a lot of them were positive. But either way, I purchased them anyway because I got to see it, I got to see it in people's hands and how functional it is. Uh, for example, uh, this knife right here, this is the uh, Saw Clash 2. Um, I EDC'd this for about a year. Um, I really like it. Um, you know, nothing bad about it. The only thing that uh, I I didn't understand was uh, on uh, the Nut and Fancy project when they opened it. Um, he would open it and he'd, he'd kind of shake this way and then kind of just put go out of frame and open it. You know, I asked a couple questions like, hey, why does he do that when it's already assisted? Um, and the, res the typical response was, oh, because it's training. Uh, it's just part of your training, you know. If you open all knives that way, it's just a habit to open it. And it cracks me up because he goes out of frame to do it and say, oh, it's so lightning fast. But, gosh, all you got to do is just push it and it opens. Um, what's the big deal? And plus, if you're so into your training, um, you should know your equipment. And if you know that this is an assisted folder, then you should know it's an assisted folder. So, you know, I just think it's kind of it's kind of lame when you say, oh, it's part of the training to to open it like that, when you can just open it like this. Anyway, not to like hate on it, on nothing fancy or the TNPers out there. Um, that's not my goal. It's just, I'm just questioning it. Um, you know, what's up with that? Another knife that um, was reviewed by TNP was this Tylite, um, Tylite 4. Um, there was a claim like on the thumb stud saying, oh, on the thumb stud, you know, I, I really got to dig into this thumb stud. If you can see how much it sticks, how much it sticks out, why do you have to dig into it if it's already protruding? And, uh, you know, I don't have to dig into it. I didn't even move my wrist. I didn't even go out of frame just to open it like how he, he does it. He does a go out of frame and say, hey, that's lightning fast. <laughs> oh, anyway, since we're talking about lightning fast, uh, Endura, many of your viewers say this is a knife that that opens lightning fast. Really? Um, okay, so let me do the same action. Or let me do this for you again. Tie light, push up. I don't have to go out of frame to open it. Let's go to this knife. Uh... I have a hard time opening Spyderco's. And you know what, I bet you some people are going to say, well that's not how you open it. You have to flick your wrist to open it. And I understand that because I do that. I do that all the time. Well, when it works. Um, I loosened uh, this torque screw, but then it was too loose so I had to tighten it back up. Open it. Um, yeah, I don't really see it this being lightning fast unless you know, on some reviewers, they open it and they go out of frame and say, oh, look. It's like, here you see it? Oh, lightning fast. Let's do that again. See how lightning fast that was? Yeah, well, that's not lightning fast. You have to flick your wrist to open it. Now, if you think that's lightning fast, let's go back to the tie light. Which one's faster? With less movement. Okay. Um, the other... The other knife that I think is lightning fast is, oh, I hear my baby, um, is this Benchmade. Um, just push it up, it opens up lightning fast. Uh, so, I don't understand how is that lightning fast if you open it that way. Also, um, there's another reviewer that I really like, it's a blunt truth for you. Um, I get a kick out of watching his videos because he cuts cardboard all day and I think it's... Wow, that's just a lot of time. Um, I wish I could do that, but I can't even cut cardboard for fun. But I would if I did, but yeah, I can't. Um, so what really gets me was uh, when he did a review on the bird knife. Um, he doesn't like the bird knife, and that's okay, you know. Um, some people do, some people don't. I like bird knives. These are cool. Um, 
what I didn't understand um, about what he was saying about the bird knife was um, I believe he said this um, he, he says see this hole right here this hole it's like it's very uncomfortable because when you open it up you know you have to put your thumb in there to open it and that's very uncomfortable well you know what who puts their thumb in here seriously who, who puts their thumb in here just because you can put your thumb in here um, you know there's a hole here I can put my thumb in there but I don't because it's uncomfortable you can't put your thumb in a spidey hole and and try to open it I mean if you do then you do but I, I just don't see the functionality maybe my thumbs too big but I usually put my my thumb right right in there so I could just push up and open it see how my thumb ended let's do that one more time put your thumb in there open it okay now look at that angle and then look at this angle you put your thumb right in right in the hole and you open it it aims in the same it ends in the same place I'll just cover this part of the hole and you still have the hole you just, just see if you look closely you're you're actually missing part of the hole and you know basically the same hole it's just you just have this extra extension um, just for I guess design but seriously I mean if you're gonna be like truthful about it it's more like an opinion um, you don't put your thumb in here who does that who who opens it like that I mean that that hurts I mean I can't do it um, if you can hey that's cool but that's just my take on it um, I always found it easy just to open it like that you know I don't put my thumb in here because I can't it's kinda like saying if somebody yawns and they don't cover their mouth do you put something in their mouth because just because their mouth is open and you can put something in it I mean why would you do that so you know to me that's not very truthful that's more of an opinion um, oh another thing um, what I hear a lot is a uh, side to side uh, control or movement um, this boggles me all the time they always say oh hey no up and down movement oh I'm sorry they hold it up here and then they say no side to side movement well of course if you put two things and you're not at the ends and you move it of course this is securing the joint and this is and, and you're up here so there's no you know you, of course you can't move it side to side however if you take if you go on one end I, I mean check out this movement I mean I mean just look at that tell me no side to side movement are you kidding me look there's so much side to side movement here the only knife one of the only knives that I see that doesn't have any side to side movement is the rat one um, I'm I'm definitely like torque I'm trying I'm trying to move this and I can bend it but there's no like movement in here at all you know maybe I could do one of those things where I could make it bend the metal no but really I, I can't do it um, this is a really well-made knife um, bench made you know they always say oh there's no side to side movement yeah well there is <laughs> maybe it's very little but I feel it I, I could I could feel the, the joint slip so you know everybody here they they get they get on YouTube and they talk like they're all 10 feet tall and that's cool you know but you know what I'm not 10 feet tall I will never talk like I'm 10 feet tall I'm 5'9 and that's where I'm gonna stay at so you know not to hit on the blunt truth I mean gosh his reviews are great um, I mean most of these knives it encouraged me to to buy them um, I have more I just can't fit all of them here but um, you know these are just the ones I pulled out I do appreciate all the reviews if it's negative or or positive anyway um, that's my review looks like my kid stopped crying probably asleep now um, and Hope you um, at least take all points here into consideration before you buy your next knife. Always good to always try it for yourself and just not believe what anyone else says. Don't believe me. You should try it yourself. Out.